guess he's not around. I should try again later. I know that sound. Vortex! A shift! Cortez must have found me, and just in the nick of time, too. God, that was close. What caused that shift to open just in time? It has to be Cortez. Finally! Hello? Anybody there? Who's there? It's just me. April, it's good to see you again. Father Raul, where is Cortez? I thought he'd be here. I haven't seen Cortez for a week, and it worries me. He usually stops by once every few days. When did you last see Cortez? It must have been... I think it was last Sunday. Exactly one week today. He's been gone longer than that before, but this time I... What? This time I have a feeling there's something wrong. I don't like that feeling. Is there anything you're not telling me, Father Raul? I don't know what you, uh... Yes, you do. You're no ordinary priest. You know about Stark and Arcadia, about the balance, and I'm sure you know a lot more about Cortez than you're willing to let on. How did you... I heard you and Cortez talking last Sunday, and it scares me. And pisses me off to think that you're using me, that you're keeping things from me. I thought for sure that I could trust Cortez, but as it turns out... I can't. I was hoping to confront him with this, but he's not around, and you... You're part of it too, aren't you? April, you have to trust me when I tell you. Sorry, I can't trust anybody anymore. There's so much at stake, and I... I don't know who to trust, Father. Please, tell me what you know. I'm sorry, April. I mean, I'm sorry you don't feel like you can trust anyone anymore, and I'm sorry that I don't know more than I do. But I will try to answer your questions honestly and openly as much as I can. Who is Cortez? What do you mean? The way people react when I mention his name. The fact that he seems to have been alive for a very long time, and that he knows as much as he does. Who is he? <laughs> it's funny, but I've been asking that very same question myself many, many times. Who is this man? He's old, yes, and powerful. He has strong magic, but he rarely lets on exactly how strong he is. He prefers to be considered eccentric, crazy even. They are both excellent disguises. You still haven't answered my question about Cortez. <sighs> That's because I cannot answer. I just don't know. He found me when I first came here. You see, I'm not just a Catholic priest. I'm also a sentinel, a minstrel. You're a minstrel? Yes. Do you find that strange? How can you belong to two religions at the same time? Belief in the balance and belief in God are not mutually exclusive. The sentinel order was founded on the basis of protecting the balance, not to worship a higher power. As long as our devotion to whatever God we believe in doesn't conflict with our duty to the balance, and vice versa, who is to say we can't work in the best interest of both? I guess. I just always thought of the Sentinel as its own faith. It is a faith. 
but a faith in something less than God, yet more than magic or the laws of nature. The balance was created by someone, was it not? I don't know. Nor do I. But I believe. I have faith. That's enough. What did you mean when you said Cortez found you? One day, he came to visit me here. He knew who I was, that I was a minstrel, and that I was devoted to restoring the balance as well as to my guide. We soon became good friends. He was very worried about the imminent collapse of the balance, yet told me that he was waiting for someone special, someone who might be able to help us. Me? Yes. He waited for a long time for you to show up, and when you did, it was hard for him trying to convince you that he wasn't crazy. I guess his disguise was too good. I don't know much more than that. Cortez tells me very little, only that you're the key to the survival of the balance. I can only assume that you're the new guardian? That's what I've been told. Not by Cortez, of course. No. I understand your frustration, but I cannot help you any more than I have. If there's anything, anything at all. Thanks, Father. But you've done enough. It feels like I've done nothing. But God be with you, and the balance too. How did you become a Sentinel Minstrel? The Sentinel are not numerous and stark. Not yet. Not with a vanguard, the Church of Voltec, keeping a watchful eye and striking down anyone who dares to proclaim their faith in the balance. But the Sentinel are here, and when they find someone who they believe will be sympathetic to their cause, they approach them. That's what happened to me. They asked you to join? No. They told me the truth. I was studying theology at the time, and I found scriptures that challenge conventional wisdoms, made me question the validity of my faith. But once I learned the truth about the balance and the guardian and the ongoing war with the vanguard, it became easier to believe in God again because now things made sense. And so, in the end, I chose to become not only a priest, but a minstrel, and I don't regret my decision. Have you ever been to Arcadia? No, I'm not a shifter. I'm stuck here, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't mind. I've been fortunate enough to read most of the scriptures of the balance, and that in itself is a rare privilege for a stalker like me. I don't have any more questions right now. If you do, please ask. I want to help, and that's the truth.
Can I ask you some more questions? Always, April. I don't have any more questions right now. If you do, please ask. I want to help, and that's the truth. How are things here? You mean in the cathedral? No, no, I mean here in Newport. How have things been going? Nothing out of the ordinary. Why, have you been away? You could say that, yeah. It's just been hot and humid, and it's getting worse by the day. And apparently crime is on the rise. But what else is new? I have to run, Father. I hope to see you again soon, April. Please take care of yourself. And if you see Cortez, tell him to see me. Tell him that... that I've been worried. I really should go home and change into something that doesn't make me look like a medieval restorationist. What's going on here? April, run! Get out of here! Why? What's the... Run, April, now! I wouldn't listen to her if I were you. Move over there. I said move! Emma, who's this man? Tell me what's going on! Who are you? What do you want? He's just following orders, Miss Ryan. He's just a servant. My servant. I was hoping you would join our little party. You're a very difficult person to find, Miss Ryan. A very difficult person to find. What are you doing to my friends? If you cooperate, nothing. Nothing permanent, at any rate. But if you make this any harder than it has to be, I will have your friends shot. All of them. What do you... Do I know you? I know you. I've seen your face somewhere. My name is Halloway. Gordon Halloway. I work for Jacob McAllen, who I am certain you have heard of, yes? He runs the Church of Voltec, also known as the Vanguard. He has been insisting on meeting you, Miss Ryan. Of course, we were not sure who you were at first, but we knew we would find you in Venice. You did give us a run for our money, I must admit. Your shift a week ago today made it a lot easier, but then you decided to stay out of town for a while. Smart. Coming back, though, was rather stupid.
What do you want from me? We want you, and what you carry with you. We have our connections in Arcadia. We know of your journey north. Good job on our friend Mr. Klax, by the way. Good job. Very impressive. Of course, not to mention the fine work you did on that Gribbler creature. She was not very cooperative. She just refused to listen to reason. But she was a twisted old girl, and we respected that. Unfortunately, we lost track of you once you set out to sea. The Tyran are not very comfortable with water, and so there was no chance of sending anyone after you. However, with your good fortune and, shall we say, good breeding, I am certain you brought some valuable items back with you. I would expect no less from a bright and industrious girl such as yourself. So, give me what you have and let us be done with this nasty business. I will let your friends go and then you and I will go on a little trip. All right, release my friends and you will get what I have. You are a very intelligent woman, Miss Ryan. Still, we need to teach you and your friends a lesson. Shoot that one. Emma! What the hell is going on? Get out of my way, Zack! Where are you going, April? Don't you know the game's up? What game, Zack? They're trying to kill me. They just shot Emma! Who did? The agents, the Vanguard. But... but they said... they said they weren't really gonna hurt nobody. They were just gonna... They said? What do you mean? You spoke with them? No! I mean... They were just gonna arrest you and- You bastard! You sold me out? You killed Emma? Do you know that? You killed my best friend! I... I didn't... Ah. <laughs> Zack, are you- Shit! Open up! If you don't open, we'll break down the door. Let's do it. Take it down. God, this is not gonna be fun, but I don't have a choice. Close your eyes, April! Oh, shit! Ah!
I look like a real sailor. Arr, Mikey. Oh, shit. Somebody's watching the entrance. There's no way I'm getting by without him seeing me. But there's no other way out of here, either. Who's there? I know somebody's there. I can hear you. Nah, probably just a sewer rat. Sewer rat? I got my body back. That was a close call, though. If I'd been caught, I don't want to think about what would have happened. that the mystery door it's open I'm guessing I'm pretty sure actually I'm not in Venice anymore now I know how Alice and Dorothy felt Welcome, April Ryan. I won't ask how you know my name, but who are you? The Lady Elvane is my name now. And where am I? What's this place? This is my home, 
the house of all worlds. This is Arcadia? It looked like I passed through a shift, but it didn't feel... It felt different. Not like shifting. It's similar to shifting, except that you did not pass through dreams, and you're not in Arcadia, nor in Stark. This place is between and everywhere. But don't worry. You are safe from your pursuers for the moment. Did you bring me here? You brought yourself here. But yes, I opened a doorway for you. Why? Because that's how the story goes, April. You escape. You outrun your pursuers, and your journey continues. It's been written, and we cannot change that now. Lady Elvane, I appreciate your help, but I'm so tired of hearing about my destiny and about prophecies. I've lost a good friend today, and... She's not dead. What? What did you say? Emma's not dead. She was hurt, but not killed. Oh, thank God. Are you sure? I'm quite certain. She is on her way to the hospital as we speak. But the others... Charlie, Fiona, they're angry at you. They blame you for Emma's pain and for not letting them in on the truth. They should blame me. I brought it all to them. The violence, the chaos. I've hurt so many people since this all started. And yet, at the time, it all seemed justified. It was. The fate of the many depend on the sacrifice of the few. Your sacrifice most of all. You've made so many, and you'll have to make many more before this is all over. Will it ever be over? Eventually. The pain won't go away, though. You'll keep that with you forever. I don't know if I can go on. It's so hard. Listen to me, April. You must go on. You must be brave. They all depend on... On you. And you can do it. You can get through this. Just remember what's important and what's not. Remember who your friends are and trust them. Let them help you. I already did that, and look where it got them. So, somebody gets hurt. That doesn't mean you can give up. I want you to go to Mercuria to see for yourself how those who are not willing to surrender are holding up. You can learn from their courage. I can't go there. I can't shift. People tell me I have this... this talent, but it's not true. If I can't use it, what good is it? But you have used it twice already. April, child, you must learn to believe in yourself and your abilities. Use what you know, what you do best, to focus your magic. What I do best? You mean painting? If that's what you do best, then yes. Use that as a focal point. After a while, you won't even need that. But it's a beginning. What about the other things I have to do? What about the Guardian? The Vanguard are holding Adrian, the Guardian, captive but they still don't know where the entrance to the Guardian's realm is located. Shouldn't I free Adrian immediately? Go first to Mercuria. The doorway will bring you there. If you go straight back to Stark, the Vanguard will find you. Thanks, Lady Alvane. I'm not going to ask you how you know everything you just told me, because I'm not sure I want to know. Good luck on your journey ahead, April. I will... Keep my fingers crossed for you. Maybe I'll see you again. Oh, I'm quite certain of that. Quite, quite certain.
It's deserted, and from the looks of the place, I'd say they left in a hurry, too. I figured you'd still be here, Brian. April Bloody Rye. <laughs> well, what do you know? It's it's good to see you, girl. <coughs> now get the hell out of Mercuria before the shit hits the fan. You're not leaving, are you, Mr. Westhouse? I I guess I'm not. I always was an idiot. <laughs> you're not an idiot, Mr. Westhouse. Brian, you're just fighting for something you believe in, something you care about. I don't care a whittle about this bloody town. I think you do. I think you care a lot, but you hate to admit it. Yeah, well... I built this house with my own two hands, you know. First thing I ever did that I was proud of. Real proud of. I ain't about to leave it to those damn tyrant trolls waltzing in here under the pretense of defending their borders. It's the vanguard holding their leash, be sure of that. What are you gonna do when they get here? Hmm? I got an old gun locked up in the pantry. Enough bullets to take down at least mm, two dozen of those goblins. <laughs> I'm going down fighting, that's for sure. You'll be fine, I'm sure of that. Just leave the bottle be until the victory party, okay? Ah, uh, <clears throat> don't worry about that, girl. That's my last batch of real whiskey. All I got left now is bloody Markurian wine. And believe me, you don't want to get drunk on that. <laughs> I believe you. Just take care of yourself, Brian. Take real good care. And you, Miss Ryan. I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for you. And if you ever come back this way... I promise to visit you, of course. Goodbye, Brian. The doors are locked and bolted. I guess the Sentinel have decided to skip town with the rest of the population.
Enter, honored guest, and I would have been with you presently. I'm glad to see you're okay, Abnaxus. Should I not have been okay, April Ryan? I wasn't sure. Everybody else has left town. Yes, most everyone did. A war is coming. Shouldn't you be leaving too, then? I am, after I see you again. You shouldn't be putting yourself in danger for my sake, Abnaxus. Then, for the sake of the balance, you will find three stones, yes? I did, yeah. Just missing one now. Here, yeah, this was the stone of the Venar entrusted to me. I was to take this to Mercuria and there hold embassy until the Kananglā will come to take it from me. You had this the whole time? Why didn't you tell me before? To have been carrying this on your journey will be too risky, April Ryan. You have it now. Four stones to make one. Now my task is done, and the veil is upon me. There is only the present and the past now. Only those two, not the future. The veil is upon us all, April Ryan. I must leave for my people to be with them in this time of darkness. Thank you for your help, Abnaxus. I will miss you. And I you, April Ryan. May the balance bless you. May the balance bless and protect us all. It's obviously a map of constellations, and that cross must be where the gateway to the Guardian's realm is located. Where that is, I have no idea. It's the Blue Dragon's Eye Jewel. It's the second half of the piece of the stone disc entrusted to the Elation and the Merum a long time ago. It's the piece of the stone disc I got from the Dark People. It's the piece of the stone disc. Abnaxus gave it to me, and his people have apparently had it for a long, long time.
So you're still here? Eh? Oh, it's just you. If you have come to use the library, I I'm afraid I must disappoint you. We're all very busy today. Very busy indeed. Don't worry, I didn't come by to do any reading today. Good. With the Tyrant army approaching, we don't have much time. Is Vestrum Tobias around? Oh, goodness. You do not know? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but Tobias, he's dead. Murdered. No, by whom? We don't know, but we suspect Vanguard agents, of course. In the chaos of the evacuation, the soldiers had their hands full, making sure no one was trampled, and that looters were promptly apprehended. When we visited the temple after everyone had left, there were so many books and valuable artifacts we wanted to bring here uh, for safekeeping. We found Tobias by the mules he loved so dearly. He'd been stabbed in the heart. And from the looks of it, he didn't resist much at all. He probably even knew his assailant. Why Tobias? He was the kindest, gentlest man I've ever known. Always helpful, always ready to listen. I'll really miss him. So will all of us. He was a great man, and a great Vestrum, and we will never see another like him. But unfortunately, there were many who disagreed with his views, and the Vanguard... Well, they would be happy to see the end of him for good. Another reason for doing everything we can to stop them. Shouldn't you be leaving the city? Leaving? No, I'm staying here with my fellow Minstrom. The Enclave is our life and our home. And we're not letting the Vanguard and the Tyrant army drive us away. But we will defend ourselves. With what? Books? We may look harmless, but don't judge a book by its cover. There are many of us who are skilled at magic. I can throw a pretty mean ball of fire myself. We even have swords and bows, and a few of us are well versed with deadly weaponry. So we won't be easily defeated, trust me. What's the rusty wheel downstairs for? The wheel? Oh yes, the wheel. That's used for draining the water out of the pool. Good luck. And to you, the same. It's the Blue Dragon's Eye Jewel. It's a pool of seawater. The water's pretty cold. It's a rusty wheel. It won't budge.
The dragon's mouth is pointing straight down at the middle of the floor. It's a circular hollow about 20 centimeters across and about 5 centimeters deep. I think something's gone wrong. It looks like something's blocking the dragon's mouth from opening up completely. Looks like something's blocking the dragon's mouth from opening up completely.
looks like something's blocking the dragon's mouth from opening up completely. Excuse me? Yes? Good luck. And to you, the same. Don't tell me. You need help with something you can't get to. Nice to see you, too. Why so cynical? Because it seems like the only times you call me is when you need me to do something. It's never to say, Hello, Crow. What have you been up to? Or, Hey, just wanted to let you know how much I love you. Sorry. There's just so much on my mind I forget to treat my friends right. Friend? I'm your friend. Whatever you need me to do, babe, I'm there. Something's preventing that stone dragon's mouth from opening completely. Could you check it out? That's it? <laughs> Easy! Yeah, 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 I, I see what's wrong here. When was the last time they cleaned this thing? There's pigeon sh uh, there's pigeon crap all over it. Some of it's so old it's almost petrified. Great. Peck it off. Peck it? Uh, no, 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 that's, that's disgusting. Nobody told me I was gonna be pecking pigeon crap when I joined up for this adventure. Crow? Peck it off. Yikes! 